Hey guys, this is Ampoxy Drew, and today we're going to be reviewing a movie called Teeth. It was made in 2006 by Mitchell Lichtenstein. Yeah, get a grasp on that name. Uh, pretty crazy. So, the movie is just about as weird as the name. Um, it is classified as a cult horror film, and I would completely agree. I would also classify it as a shock, incest, gross, and predictable movie. Um, as far as summary goes, uh, there is this girl who is totally about abstinence. There's nothing wrong with that, but she kind of goes over the border with it. Um, and there's all these really abstinent people, and there's nothing wrong with abstinence, but... Again, these people are, hmm, maybe it's just me. I can't imagine being that passionate about that. But anyways, um, there's this girl. She kind of has a crush for this guy, and she has dreams about him and almost touches herself, oh no, and decides she can't see him anymore because it's, she gets dirty thoughts of him. And he decides, yeah, baby, that's a good idea. So they both decide to stop talking to each other. But they do it anyways. Um, she's sexually curious. Um, and in the sex ed books in the school, the ovaries are covered by a big patch or whatever that the government has put on the books. So kids don't know about it. Yet they will still show the penises. That's stupid. <coughs> Just throwing that out there. That's dumb. Um, so yeah, the girl and the guy end up meeting back with each other. And they decide, hey, we can still talk to each other. Well, that would be true if they didn't go to this waterfall where all the kids usually go so they can make the nasty. And so they go to the waterfall. They start making out. They're like, oh, this doesn't feel wrong. And then they go into a cave and start making out some more. And the girl's like, no, this is a bad idea. And the guy's like, I know, but a little more. So he goes and basically starts to rape her. That's not cool. And, well, some could say it was justified. Some could say it was going a little over the border. But, yeah, as he starts doing her... The teeth, hence the name of the movie, inside of her. All of a sudden he starts freaking out and screaming. She's all like, doesn't know what to do. And he pulls away and his dick is on the floor. You know, you got the pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Yeah, well he's got his dick on the ground. And it's not because he's endowed. It's because it got chopped the fuck off. So he freaks out and jumps in the I'm not sure if he jumps or falls in the water. Anyways, he disappears. Uh, he ends up dead. The girl sees the penis on the ground and flips the fuck out and leaves. Anyway, she thinks she's a horrible person and thinks she's impure. Um, yeah, so basically it goes on a long string of that with the dangerous vagina dentata and runs into all these things where people are putting things in her and getting them chopped off. Um, so yeah, um, as far as plot goes, uh, it's about virgins and abstinence and sexual temptation and I don't know, it's a pretty predictable movie. I mean, I straight up called the ending. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but I totally called it and saw it coming. So yeah, the acting was pretty crappy. Uh, it was kind of funny at some parts. Like... The brother. I thought the brother was pretty funny. Um, even though he's a complete asshole. I thought he was funny. But assholes are funny a lot of times. Don't take that to heart. Don't be an asshole. Um, as far as impact goes, I would say get to know your partner before you start messing around like that. They could have vagina dentata, and you don't want to get to get your dick chopped off. 
Uh, ladies too. I don't know if there's penis dentata. Maybe there's that come out when they do stuff. But yeah. Hmm. Get to know your partner before you start getting involved with that stuff, you guys. They could be crazy. Um, so yeah, as far as buy, rent it, or skip it, I'm just going to say go ahead and skip the movie. Uh, it's a pretty crappy movie, kind of useless. But if you're curious, go ahead and rent it. Join the club. And overall, I gave it one star out of five. So, this has been another Ampoxy movie review of Teeth. Um, so subscribe. If you have any movies you want me to review, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below or contact me. All that fun stuff. I have a Facebook page, Ampoxy Drew, so you can go check that out too. And, uh, yeah. Go watch the movies. Have fun with that.